Hello and welcome. This is Jinnu Kapoor Trai from Single World News. Let's start from the top news of the day. Tunneling work has begun on Mumbai Metro Line 7A, a 3.42 km extension connecting Andheri East to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport. The alignment includes a 2.49 km underground twin tunnel section. The underground station will connect to CSMIS Terminal 2 and Metro Line 3. The project is expected to be completed by December 2024 improving airport connectivity and reducing travel time. Manly Sea Eagles have offered a 5.6 dollar million package to retain Hao Mole Olakao O2 until at least 2030 with a possible player swap involving Alex Stoll of West Tigers. Olakao O2's 5 year extension averages around 8 lakh dollar per year. Other clubs including Canterbury are interested in Twal. Manly has strengthened its 2024 roster but faces player losses as well. Ukrainian President Zelensky met Brazilian President Lula at the UN discussing peace and bilateral relations. He also discussed support with Germany and engaged in talks with other European leaders. Zelensky criticized Russia's invasion at the UN Security Council emphasizing the UN charter violations and the need for reforms. The US State Department approved a 313.4 million dollars sale of drone munitions to Canada, enhancing Canada's surveillance capabilities in its Arctic territories. The package includes Includes missiles, bombs, and radar systems for integration into MQ-9B drones by General Atomics. Indian American entrepreneur and Republican presidential hopeful Vivek Ramaswamy plans to unveil a strategy for the U.S. to declare independence from China. He will address the connection between stakeholder capitalism and China's economic rise, criticize U.S.-China tech transfers, and pro-CCP lobbying. advocate for a pro trade approach to decoupling and propose reducing military pharmaceutical and military dependence on china through trade partnerships ramaswamy also seeks to end the h1b visa program calling it indentured servitude and replace it with a merit based system the government is selling a 5% stake in sjvn through an ofs at rupees 69 per share aiming to raise around rupees 1334 crore reducing its stake to 55% the gale pipeline from mumbai to nagpur is nearing completion while progress on the samruddhi expressway lags Belagavi City Corporation imposes a rupees 21 crore penalty on lnt for project delays and substandard road restoration work Punjab's Congress and BJP criticized Canadian PM Justin Trudeau for alleging a link between the Indian government and the killing of Khalistan leader Hardeep Singh Nijjar. Shiromani Akali Dal expressed concern urging a diplomatic resolution. State leaders called Trudeau's remarks irresponsible and urged PM Modi to present facts. The Aam Aadmi Party awaited Modi's response before commenting. The diplomatic crisis raised concerns about Indian students in Canada and strained relations between the two nations. The issue prompted demands for a diplomatic response and clarification from India. In a weekend of rugby league action, The Penrith Panthers and Melbourne Storm are set to clash once again in the preliminary finals with the Storm aiming to utilize their experience. Meanwhile, the Brisbane Broncos and Warriors both surprise successes will face off. Key players to watch include Harry Grant for the Storm and Reese Walsh for the Warriors who bring speed and agility to the game. The Broncos strong post contact meters and bench rotation could give them an edge. The weekend promises intense matchups with potential twists and turns. Manipal Hospitals has acquired an 84% stake in Amri Hospitals for rupees 2400 crore becoming the largest hospital chain in Eastern India. The deal followed a legal battle and includes 1200 beds across four hospitals with Manipal funding it through inter- internal accruals of and borrowings. Imami Group will retain a 15% stake and the West Bengal government will have a 1% stake. The acquisition aligns with Manipal's goal to expand healthcare services in underserved Eastern India and will bring its total bed count in Eastern India to 3000. This acquisition adds to Manipal's growing presence in the healthcare sector. In Goa Dalajara, American Sofia Kenin and Caroline Dolihai scored upsets with Kenin defeating Jelena Ostapenko and Dolihai beating Ekaterina Alexandrova. Three other Americans lost their matches. To get more details and more interesting news like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Single World News and also press the bell icon for the latest notifications. Stay connected with us. Please keep supporting us.